also have been testing many games on iPhones and iPad as performance tests. You guys must have noticed the metal performance heard monitoring the gameplay to show you the necessary data. So in this video I'm going to show you a very simple and clear tutorial of how you can get it for yourself. Made simple by Mr. MacRide's way of doing it. He is the original creator of this process and this software by far the easiest method. You can find the link to his original video and his channel down in the description. So with all due respects, let's jump into the tutorial. Step 1. First of all you need a Mac, this doesn't work on a Windows PC yet. Step 2, then let's head over to the Mac App Store and download Xcode. Without Xcode, it just won't run and it won't find the basic Mac inputs. But once you have installed Xcode, you don't really need to do anything with it. You just need to keep it installed. Step 3, then go to the second link in the description, which is Mr. MacRoid's GitHub page. Then go over to the releases and click this link. Scroll down a bit, you will find the file named Metal Heart Mobile Config 2.5.3.dmg Click on it to download. Once it's downloaded, install it the default way, drag it into the application folder, allow it with your Mac passcode. Now the mobile performance are installed on your Mac. Step 4. Now let's connect our iOS device to the Mac through a cable in order to get Metal Performance Heart active. Once you plug it in with the Mac and click this device button here and then click show running games, it will show you a pop-up asking you to enable developer mode on the intended device then head over to the settings on your iphone and scroll down to privacy and security then again scroll down a bit and you will find the developer mode under security subsection above wide accessories here go on and turn it on well enabling developer mode won't really hurt your device to most extent other than lowering a bit of security but you can turn it off after using metal performance card and turn it back on again the same way well this is the reason why you must have xcode just installed in a mac then plug in your ios device once to enable developers mode step 5 now let's just go back to the software once again from here you have to first close all apps running in your background of the iPhone and only have your game opened which you want heard for. Now you can unplug your device from your Mac. It can work wirelessly from here and if it doesn't just plug once again and unplug. Now click show running games button here the second one and wait for a couple moments it will list the game's name in the list. Now then close the game completely on the iPhone once it has listed on the Mac and then make sure your device is selected from the device list on top and your game should directly be here in the second box then select that and down here click launch with HUD. As soon as you hit the launch button the game will open and display the metal performance HUD in a few seconds. By the way we have some settings here where we can change the location of the HUD and customize it according to what we want to display by clicking here at the HUD preset. We do get some options but you can just go and click customs and check and uncheck the elements you want to display for your game and leave it that way and once again just close the app hit the launch button and you will be having a customized metal performance HUD the, just the way you want it. Well and that's pretty much it. Thank you Mr. MacRoyd for letting me make this video and enlighten my viewers as well. Check out his channel link in the description and make sure to drop a sub. And that's the story for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next drop. Peace out.